Hello everyone, this is Lizzie. I'm here with Raquel and we are talking Lucifer for season 5B. Uh, today we're giving you a general impressions video of Linda, a character that I feel has sort of been sort of always more or less steady in an appreciation of her. Um, she's a character that has always been sort of the voice of the viewers, if not the voice of the writers. And I think in general, that makes her a character we've always sort of liked and appreciated because she's the one telling Lucifer what he needs to do, what he should think, like in general, just explaining the world to Lucifer. Um, and she has been very needed, especially when Lucifer like literally did not understand the world at large. Um, but she's also a character that in that regard can get sometimes stuck in this therapist Linda mode, like that's all sometimes she gets to do. Um, and I feel, uh, for example, that Lucifer season 5B allowed her to break out of that a little. Um, and I mean, I think 5A sort of started on, on that journey. Um, and and she, she has had other things. She, she had Charlie in the storyline that sort of led with her ex-husband. I, I mean, she's had some things, but in general, she mostly works as the therapist uh, by... Like I've seen a, a tweet going around where it's like Lucifer takes everyone to therapy. And that is right. Lucifer takes everyone to, Lin to Linda and then he sits there and he's like, Linda, fix us. Um, because that's sort of her role. Uh, but I find her a more interesting character even outside of that role. Um, so Raquel, what do you think of Linda in 5B? Do you think um, her journey was enjoyable? Was she more than just that side of Linda? And do you think people will enjoy her? She's amazing, you know. I, I love her since the beginning. And in this part, we see more about her, not only her with Charlie or her with Lucifer or being therapist about all Celestial family. We, we see all of that. I hope she gets paid like a lot. Yeah. Like you better be shelling out the cash to that woman, Lucifer, because God. <laughs> No, this is can't pay here. Right, he's got money. So, I mean, if this season proves something, it's how much money Lucifer has. So, pay Linda. Uh, and this season, this part of the season is more explore her. We we on that. Uh, we see we see her like a like a mother with Charlie and the cute moment and funny moment, uh, but. We see her like a therapy too because he's Lucifer and he always meets uh, Linda to therapy then. And he's uh, her asking to, to go this serious because <laughs> I love all your memories because Linda is so funny in that scene because it's God and it was like, Oh my God, I you, you are God. Um, it's amazing. And you, you see a little bit of, a bit of this in, in the trailer, in the famous, in the famous trailer that everyone, everyone sees. And it's amazing, but this song for Linda is more like be here and explore her feelings, uh, be the friends that everyone, everyone needs. You know, this is not work for her, not anymore. This is family and this is friends. And uh, you you see her in that in that kind of role. But you see them be for her. Stand for her like she always stand for them. And that's that's really really beautiful because she always supports everybody, you know, she supports Mace, she supports I mean, Adele, she supports Lucifer, she, she even supports Chloe, Chloe when, she needs, when she needs that. This part of the season is more everyone supports Linda when she, she needs. And that's amazing because she, she has a family. This is only more like everyone is a family and what the hell that that means for every character involved and that's amazing so yes i really 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 like you know and yeah I, I really like the way you said that um sometimes it, it turns out to be someone else's turn to be there for linda um i i, I do agree that um we see i i i particularly like a scene with her and lucifer um because i mean she's very used to being what she's had to be with lucifer and Lucifer, like, he can be a little oblivious, but he also sometimes 
learns his lessons and um, the lessons that Linda herself has been trying to teach him. Uh, so I think uh, everyone should look forward to a particular, maybe a couple of C, but like there's a particular one that isn't the one you're thinking of. Like the, it isn't the one from the picture that you're thinking of. There's another C with Lucifer that I really, really love. And then she obviously also has a couple of really good scenes with mates um, that gets to be explored. And I think she's got fun dynamics with Amenadiel too. I mean, uh, that's kind of obvious. Um, and even in general with God. Um, and, and when she gets to interact with characters, she doesn't usually get to interact in this season. Um, characters that have been around, so I'm not gonna tell you who, but just like you, you will find some fun um, Linda moments. Um, and though she, she does end up being Linda, even in moments, uh, like Linda, the therapist, I sort of like her, like, you know, when she's outside of the office, that's sort of her default. Um, but this season allows her to be more than that, I feel. Um, she sort of gives us a glimpse of her family sort of, yeah, sticking up for her and being there for her when Linda, the therapist, is not around. Because Linda, the therapist, cannot be around at all times. There are problems that are bigger than Linda, the therapist. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Um, I think you you will come to to really like Linda. I mean, I think she, as I said before, she was a character we all really liked. Um, but it is fun when the the voice of the viewers stops for a second, being just that, and and gets to be more. I think I think that's really interesting, and I think people will enjoy it. Uh, so yes, that's uh, sort of our general impressions of Linda. You sort of be like at this point, you're like. They're only saying good things about the characters. We have a lot of good things to say about this season. Uh, so yeah, that's just, just the way it rolls. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this video in Spanish too. So stick around for that. And that's it for our general impressions video of Linda. Um, see you on May 28th, everyone. <laughs> Bye.